Hello, there are uh, just want to record something very quickly. There are some friends and people who are asking me about what I think about vaccines. Uh, since I posted something, I re posted something because I found out many of our smart, uh, respected, intelligent people are somehow afraid of vaccines. I was just wondering if they checked the sample size. There's uh, rumors that after two years you will die. But I was wondering <laughs> how did they uh, get that idea since the vaccines are not even more than one year. Uh, <laughs> so what is the sample size of those uh, rumors? Uh, <clears throat> the Europeans and the people from the US those are the strictest people regarding medical trials and most of them already have gone ahead with the vaccines so you get uh, hundreds of millions of people sample size with the vaccines that are available even if they are uh, that's hundreds and millions probably of of a sample size of uh, people who did not die of the vaccines whereas, uh, whereas the people who uh, claim to die, die in the of the vaccine to have claimed to have died from the vaccine maybe can be counted in in the fingers only compared to hundreds and millions and tens and thousands of millions of uh, people so please compute properly the sample size and compute the risk furthermore the expense uh, we have people whom we know who died who got covid of course the government will pay some of them but not everything uh some of them will reach two million pesos some of them three million peso and then after spending a month in the hospital they still died so uh <clears throat> the the reason is that uh uh, the government or insurance may take care of of one million peso and so on but you still leave your family with lots of of uh, payables and if that happens to all of the old people in the family then the young people have to pay off lots of debt you see so if you get a vaccine if covid costs three million and you are old and you have comorbidities the government gives it to you for free so that there will be no excuse for the population to be wiped out and to for the government and the people who have plenty of expenses that is cheaper even if the vaccine is only 52 or 57 percent effective or 80 percent effective three million times 0.57 is still 1.5 million worth of uh, reduced risk if you compute the statistical uh, ratios of that so please it's uh, we those who are afraid to have vaccine we would encourage them to recalculate your uh, uh, your stance upon this it's better to base the decisions in real information not from fear from uncertainty and deceit uh, because uh, information is very important if you think you are smarter than all the doctors and the companies that have done this uh, that is the sample size is also you only but compared to the sample size of all the health professionals who are actually qualified to to do this to think about it uh, it's just numbers uh yeah even sin we have to see the the results and so on so anyway we are still free to choose but people have already chosen before and it's better to learn from the past also let us do more research let us not be close-minded and emotional about this we should decide uh, rationally not emotionally not by fear but uh, cast away fear with information with reliable uh, measurable information not fud fear uncertainty and this is being afraid of something because you don't know 
there's lots of information, lots of trials, lots of statistics that you can see almost no need to guess what's the ratios about what will happen. If you are like this and you are you have comorbidities, you have like this amount of uh, survival rate. If you have vaccinated, you have more survival rate. So, and if the vaccine is free and the side effects are small compared to your survival rate, then please, uh, it's better to compute. I hope uh, we will reconsider those who do not like the vaccine currently. I plead to you, uh, consider the expenses. You will be all your life work, all the money that uh, probably if you are like a working class person, if you get COVID, almost all of your money you have earned for in your whole life will go to that expense and depending on your survival will leave you plenty of damage or even if you die we your relatives have to still pay for the decision so uh, please consider yourself consider the community if you're not vaccinated you have higher chance of uh, carrying around or being a carrier so if you live alone in the jungle you don't need to be vaccinated because you won't get it nobody will get it from you but if you are with people consider the safety of yourself the financial viability of your from your family side or from your loved one's side from the institution who gives you uh, this medical aid you are supposed to spend the money on evangelism, not on COVID. For you are pastors and teachers, employees of the Seventh day Adventist Church. Let's consider spending the church money on God's work, not on uh, sicknesses. Let us try to obey the rules of health according to sensible statistics. And if, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and when you are vaccinated, when a big percent of the community is vaccinated, it is like the herd immunity. When sicknesses comes, there, there's no no place to to uh, ride on because many of them are vaccinated. But when some people are not vaccinated, that's what scatters the the viruses. God bless everyone. Hope you reconsider rationally, not emotionally. <laughs>